So a real quick little video about this old 20-foot turbine that we built about 17 years ago or so. Um, this machine's been pretty reliable, but we did just lower it. There's a video about that. Um, we have a short here because the strain relief wasn't good enough somehow. It slipped. Um, and there's a short in the line. But the machine's fine, but it is interesting to see damage to the stator over all these years. This stator was cracked out of the mold. I cast it with polyurethane, or uh, polyester resin. Um, but it's a 20-foot turbine. The original blades I made were much wider than these. And these blades actually work really well, although it runs a little bit in stall in higher winds. But these are old blades off a of Jacob's turbine. And I think they used to be 24 foot diameter. And we cut them down. I'd have cut them a little bit differently had I been doing this today, but these are old Sitka spruce blades. But people worry about the width and thickness of big blades. And I just wanted to uh, show this is a 20 foot rotor. These blades are only, what? eight inches wide. The wood is three inches thick. So you don't necessarily, and these start up fine and almost no wind at all. This machine runs just, it'll be producing power at seven miles per hour. So we don't really need super wide thick boards for blades like I see a lot of people doing. At least that's my opinion. And it's a beautiful day up here. We're going to fix this short and put the turbine back up probably later today. we got another tower to go work on right now while the weather's good. It's a great day. Is it a great day, Maya? It is a great day. <laughs> How do you like your windmill? <laughs> I love my windmill. <laughs> what, what's it like when the windmill doesn't work around here? It's sad. Is it? Laundry. Does the power go off sometimes in the morning? Yeah. And at night. At night? Yeah. yeah. That's very sad. It's very sad. <laughs> I'm excited to have it run again. 